Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to begin talking about what we will call the standard topology on the set of real numbers. So to define a topology, all you have to do is define what it means for a set to be open. So let's go ahead and start by doing that. So definition. So we will say a set u which is contained in the set of real numbers, R, is open if for any x, for any x in U, there is a positive number epsilon. So there is a positive number epsilon such that the set x minus epsilon x plus epsilon is contained in u. In other words, for any x in u we can find some epsilon neighborhood around x that's entirely contained in u. Let's look at some examples. In the videos that follow, maybe we'll go ahead and prove that with this definition of an open set, this indeed defines a topology in R. But for now, let's look at some simple examples. So the set containing 0 is not open in this topology. So it's not open. Okay, What does it look like? Well, it's just here's the number line, and then here's 0. It's a singleton set. How would you prove this? Well, it's a pretty easy proof by contradiction. So if it were open, so if it were open, or if it was open, then there would exist some epsilon greater than zero, such that the set zero minus epsilon, zero plus epsilon, would be contained in the set here, zero. So we're basically saying that negative epsilon to epsilon is contained in 0, which is completely absurd, right? For example, the number epsilon over 2, then, would reside in the set. That means epsilon over 2 is in the set containing 0. So that's a contradiction. So no. <laughs> so 0 is not open in this topology. Another example. Uh, the set of real numbers is open. So if you take u to be the entire set, this is open. And it certainly should be. This is one of the criteria of a topology, right? The entire set has to be open. Uh, you can take any x, take any x in the set of real numbers. Then not only does there exist an epsilon, but for all epsilon, it's even stronger. You could even go nuts. For all epsilon, every single epsilon neighborhood of x <laughs> is contained in the set of real numbers. So it's definitely open. If there was such a thing as super open, it would be it would be super open. If we take u to be the empty set, well, that's also open. This will be vacuously true. Recall that the empty set is open. What does it mean? It means that for all x, so it means for all x in the empty set, there is some epsilon greater than 0 such that x minus epsilon x plus epsilon is contained in the empty set. But the empty set has no elements, right? It's the empty set. So this condition must hold for every element in our set, right? It's a vacuous truth, so it's open, right? Um, how about this one? One more. Let's take u to be the set, parentheses a, comma b. Okay? Here a is less than b. And A and B are real numbers. So take any x 
in this set. So now let's see if we can find an epsilon neighborhood contained in this set. So let's draw a little picture, see if we can figure it out. So if this is A, and this is B, and say this is X, we need to find an epsilon that's small enough to go around X and be uh, so that the set is entirely contained here. So the distance here is x minus a. And then the distance here is b minus x. So if we set epsilon to be equal to the minimum, the smaller of those two distances, so the smaller of x minus a and b minus x, then it should work. So then, then the claim is that the set x minus epsilon, x plus epsilon, is contained in a, b. Yeah, and it certainly should work, right? Because then our epsilon is the smaller of the two. So in this case, in this picture, we use a different color so you can see it. So in this picture, it would be this distance here. So it would certainly be contained in AB. Kind of a kind of a cool example. I think that's good for this video. In the next video, uh, you'll see more examples of open sets and sets that aren't open in this topology. And then at some point, we will prove that it is a topology. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.